Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about two sample t-tests um, that are not paired. And in the last video we talked about what is a paired two sample t-test and how it, it's really having to do with the same person or thing and that person or thing has a data statistic that is before something that happens and after something that happens. So before you have a training program or before you upgrade the, uh, the productivity you know, um, with you know better machines or something, and you can measure the scores before and after each improvement. So in here, we're going to look at just a regular old two-sample t-test. So the question that I put here is: You are a district manager for a line of products. You have collected sales figures from area A and area B. So you know, let's say New York or New Jersey or something. Uh, is there a significant difference between the sales in area A and area B? If so, which is doing better in sales, and is there any potentially any reason why? And um, I set the data up, you know, kind of specific to to show you a few things in this uh, particular example. But we're just going to run the test right now. So we go to data, data analysis, find. Um, so. Well, we don't really know whether the variance is equal or unequal. Um, in the last video, uh, in the no, in the video on um, single sample, obviously 3.6 all the way down is there is no variance. So you know we we have to use unequal variance. So then, since this one we don't really know, we can use equal variance. Assume that they might have the same um, variance because well, they're both you know sales figures of the same product line, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we click OK. Um, we select data range here. And uh, just for those of you guys practicing along with the video to make sure that you don't select the product number. And the, the first input range is area number one, I mean area A. Second input range is area B. And I like my labels. Alpha 0 0.05 is good. Uh, I'm going to output the, sh the data nearby. Click OK, and here we go. So once again, the output is very is the same as before. Uh, the title is a little different. It tells you what test you're actually running. Uh, up here is a descriptive statistics, what the data actually is, the mean of this, mean of this, you know, variance, so on and so forth, and we have the t and um, other goodness down here. So the T stat is negative 1.79. T critical one tail is uh, 1.73. And um, T critical two tail is 2.1. So because um, the question is fairly, is aiming at, you know, is there generally a difference? It's not saying, I think A is better than B, or B is better than A, because you're just asking generally, is there a difference? You're looking at the two-tail. And, um, well, the two-tail is not statistically, statistically significant, right? The t-stat, uh, the absolute value of the t-stat is not greater than the t-critical of the two-tail. And likewise, the you know um, p-value for the two-tail here is bigger than alpha, bigger than 0.05. And you can see here, if you're looking at a one tail, it is actually statistically significant. So sometimes this happens, and the one tail is is statistically significant, but the two tail it's not. So you know, if you were, the hypothesis was, I think area B is better than A, you would actually be looking at the um, one tail, and you know you would not care about the two tail. But that's not the case here. So is there a difference? Well, no. There really isn't a big difference, a statistically significant difference. So you look at the answer section. And, um, well, I forgot to put the answers in there. But uh, basically what, the, what it comes out to be is that you notice how there is no statistically significant difference here on the two-tail. And why is that? You know, the first, of, first part of the question is, um, is there a difference? No, there isn't. Second part of the question is, 
uh, which is doing better and why? Well, since none of them, there is no significant difference, well, none of them is really doing any better. But here's where just reading the data isn't good enough. You have to think past the data. Look at A, look at B. Notice how B have a couple of outliers on the bottom here. There's three product lines that's doing significantly better than A. At the same time, all most uh, most or all of the other ones are doing worse. So there's a balancing effect in area B, right? Maybe in New York, all the products are doing okay. In in New Jersey, most of the products are doing poorly, but three of them are doing really really well. So you have to be uh, aware of what the data is doing. So you know, if you look at a histogram of the data set, you you really see the difference. Okay. So um, so there are some limitations to the two sample t test here, but at the same time, it gives you a good reference point. You can say, no, there is no significant difference. However, we think that you know because there's three outliers in area B, um, it might change the data because of that. Okay, hopefully you're not too confused with this. Um, you can always email me if you have questions. And that's it for two sample t-test. Next time, we're going to go into a NOVA single factor tests. See you next time.